So the only way that we can stay sharp for the public is by continual training. That Champaign firefighter helped lead the charge in training classes when the department needed it most. He makes sure first responders are always ready to and prepared to help you during emergencies. Good evening, I'm Marley Capper. And I'm Chance Sicklin. Captain J.P. Childers is being recognized for his hard work. He's the, this year's Firefighter of the Year. WCI3's Amanda Brennan joins us. Amanda, you sat down with him today. That's right, and we talked about anything ranging from the start of his career, what led him to his role today, and some of his highlights. During the 19 years he's been saving lives, putting out fires, and training the next generation. It seems like just yesterday I was getting started. And now Captain J.P. Childers is being recognized for his hard work in the Champaign community. As a firefighter, I've loved every minute of the career here. It's a real family. We take care of each other when the chips are down. He started his career in 2005. I was never the kid who wanted to be a firefighter. Childers wanted to go into the computer field. That's until a friend of his convinced him into volunteering. So I helped out, and then that was it. I was hooked right after that. Besides responding to calls and helping people who need it the most, he's discovered a love of teaching and training within the department and the nearby Fire Service Institute. Helping guys out with skills and just learning more about this job was what was rewarding to me. During the height of the pandemic, Childers served as the battalion chief of training. And that includes everything from firefighting skills, of course, to emergency medical, continuing education, technical rescue, hazardous materials, runs the full gambit of the services that we provide. He says they have to balance it with responding to calls, but no sharpening skills can't be ignored. Training's important because our skills are perishable. And sometimes we respond to very low frequency events, but they also carry a high degree of risk to both us and the general public. The captain didn't let the challenges of COVID get in the way either. We were worried about quarantining our firefighters and stopping the spread within the department, which limited our ability to get together and work together. And if you've noticed that our fire scenes were all working together all the time, so that really challenged us in our ability to continue to train. His ability to persevere and push forward earned him the department's 2022 Firefighter of the Year Award. I didn't expect it, and it wasn't something that I was seeking. It was just something, you know, Chief asked me to do a job, and because of my relationship with the Fire Service Institute, I was well suited to step in until they could fill the vacancy permanently. And so, I, in my mind, I was doing what I was asked to do. And a ceremony to honor him is tomorrow afternoon. The fire department and the Champagne Exchange Club are honoring him. He says it's something he thought was a joke at first, but is thankful for the recognition. Marley. All right, Amanda, thank you so much.